All right, everyone, better late than never. This is, <laughs> got a little busy here at the beginning of April. This is the uh, thank you, well, the bird's very happy about it. This is the thank you reading for the month of April for anyone who's ever seen fit to give me a nickel for anything I do around here, be it a donation or video on demand, extended reading, whatever. I appreciate it. Even the bird appreciates it, although he's a little grumpy today. You know, he a Pisces, right? You know, it is what it is. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate for you. But if the title brought you in here, or, you know, because you seen fit to give me a nickel for everything, for anything I do around here, well, then this is your thank you reading. I'm going to do this one a little different than I do most months. All right? I'm going to pull a reading on you. I'm going to literally, I know sometimes I do a reverse pick a card and things like that. But, but you're all pretty much in the same boat at this time. And at the bottom of the deck, my affecting energy, this reading's timeless, by the way. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. It is April's thank you reading, but I got the uh, Knight of Wands crossed by the uh, Two of Swords here. You got, would you stop that? It's okay. He's never given me a nickel for anything. That's why, you know, he's all upset. Anyway, uh, Knight of Wands, uh, you, got, you got a lot coming towards you. You all have a lot coming towards you. With two swords crossing it, you're going to have some decisions to make. You're going to be at a crossroads very soon. Okay? Uh, I, that's, that's the main message there. There's a page of swords underneath it. You also, most of you have an energy around you that's not letting you go. And there's, you know, it's probably that soulmate. You know, the one who ran from you. But it could be a new soulmate. I don't know. We're going to see what comes out here. I'm shuffling the deck for you right now. A Knight of Wands is nice. He takes chances. Right? Don't be afraid to take chances and don't get don't get hung up on making up your mind too much. You know? Don't get hung up on that. Don't let yourself get jammed up all up in your head. All right? And again, with that page of swords there, that's the third card, you do have an energy around you. Could be someone new. Could be that runner rolling back in. Let's see where we go. Overall energy here for, for you guys is the two of wands. Uh... Yes, yeah, some of you need to let go of something fully or forgive yourself for something. Uh, but most of you are in an energy right now where the energy itself is trying to set you on a new path. And I'm seeing that a lot in my own life even here. You know, with these new energies as we move into the new core cycle that I've been talking about. Uh, sometimes things may seem like bad things are happening to you. You know, maybe health problems or all kinds of, you know, some, some, something goes wrong with your car or whatever. It's all to set you on a new path. It's, it really is. The energy is reading that way. It, it, there's something that you correct because something happens. And that's what's happening in the energy right now. That's what this Two of Wands is talking about. And even the bird's excited about it. You know? And he a Pisces. Let's see what's on top here. Ten swords. Ten pentacles. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, page of cups. And the eight of pentacles. Oh, wow. Our core energy here is the Ten Swords book ending the Eight of Pentacles. Again, it's everything I just told you. It's everything I told you about this Two of Wands. What's crossing that? Yeah, look at that. I did not know that was there. It's the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's what I just said. I, I don't know what's going on around you right now, but whatever it is, if you see it as bad, I want you to take another look. I want you to step back and see what changes you had to make because of it. See what changes you had to make. Uh, because I'm telling you, the universe is course correcting a lot of us right now and putting us on a new path. For me, it's more about healthy eating than anything else, you know, so my energy levels come up. Can't keep eating like a 20-year-old with, with their first apartment, you know, that kind of thing, living on pepperoni pizza Pop-Tarts. But, you know, again, I paid a price. Things kind of went catawampus on me. I made a correction, things get better. Um, it's that kind of energy. It's right here around you. It may not be health for you. It might be something else. It might be, you know, a car, could be a job, could be all kinds of things showing you it's time to course correct. All right? It's very important because when you do that in this new cycle, you're building on a solid foundation. I'm drawn to that mountain. Rock solid. You see, even the bird knows. He's very upset by this reading. You know, probably because he's not included in it. He's never given me a nickel. All my nickels go to him. <laughs> Let's clarify. All right. Calm down now. Calm down. It's all right. The reading can be for you if you want it. Ten swords. Let's go. Why is the ten swords here? Sometimes he's a real crack up. I'm sorry if the noise bothers you. All right. Crossing, 
crossing the ten swords is the five of wands. Uh, again, stay out of your head. Okay? It's all happening for a reason. Whatever it is that's going on around you, good or bad, it's all happening for a reason so you can rebuild on a solid foundation. Could be with a person, could be just within you. For most of you, it's within you. Okay? What's on top? Four wands. What did I tell you? I read the energy first, then I pull the cards. Okay? Four wands. There's a happy new beginning coming. It's about, a, this is a very powerful reading about the course correction that's happening right now. And I'm seeing it in friends. I saw it in me. Everybody, I've got friends who've been coming up to me. Hey, Steve, can you tell me a little bit about why everything seems to be going wrong for me right now? And I, I'm telling them. I'm pointing it out. I'm saying, look, let's step back for a minute and take a look at, at this happening, what you learned from it or what you corrected because of it. It's, it's about a course correction. Whenever, it happens whenever we move into a new cycle, a new core energy cycle, which is what we're doing. We're getting more and more into it as we go through April. It's very important you understand, don't get in your head about anything that's going wrong or anything that you're seeing as a pain in the ass that's happening around you. It's all for a reason. And it's the, the reason right here, it keeps getting represented with beautiful cards. Uh, a three of wands, or excuse me, a, a three of pentacles, rock solid foundation and four of wands right here four of wands that's very nice and again for some of you it could be a soulmate coming towards you and maybe the energy doesn't go right and they take off and run on you again well again good or bad anything that's happening to you right now in this transitional energy is to course correct you to put you on the proper path let the energy flow do not get in your head all right, please. This five of wands is nonsense. All right, it is. And I know it may seem shitty at the time. I didn't like having to cut down on pepperoni pizza and pop tarts. I love them. You can't leave me alone with a box of pop tarts. But uh, now I'm living on spinach and broccoli and Brussels sprouts and all kinds of things. But I'll tell you what, my energy levels are through the roof. I feel a lot better and I look a lot younger. So, you know, it's the course correct. The universe probably wanted to did it. Even my wife said, the universe probably did all that, made you sick from eating all that stuff because it probably wants you to stay alive to help all them people out there on YouTube. It could be. Could be because of all of you that all that shit happened to me. But either way, I fixed it all up. Make sure you do too. Make sure you let energy flow, whatever it is for you. A person, health, a car, a job, people, the people around you, friends, whatever it is. All right? Uh, Ten of Pentacles, why is it here? Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Why is it here? Jesus Christ. This, because this is, well, this is, this is the bookend card to the uh, Ten of Swords. So it's about, you know, again, this is uh, the Eight of Pentacles is the card of the Apprentice. They're working toward the Nine Pentacles. The Nine Pentacles is where you want to be. That's, that's freedom. That's independence. Uh, be it wealth or, or, or even love applies a lot of times to the Nine Pentacles too. Because that person is minor arcana empress energy. They got everything they need. And they built it. They did it. They did the work. These center cards here are about the result. You know, this here shows the result and a message not to get in your head. But this is Ten Pentacles crossed by the uh, Page of Cups, which means new love here. It's fresh, new love. It could be a new perspective on life. The Ten of Pentacles is the full package. It's everything. It's not fairyland like the Ten of Cups, right? It's crossed by the sun. That's why I'm yammering on. That's, that's, that's the happiest card in the deck. There's beautiful things trying to happen. This new course you're getting put on is beautiful. It's a nice paved road, smooth as silk. So smooth you can put the cruise control on and, and do, you know, you could drink a coffee without it landing on you. You can do anything you want. It's smooth ride. It's beautiful. It's nice. It's a road to happiness. But sometimes in life, especially when we transition into new core energy cycles, a new fishbowl, we got to, you know, there's some bumps on the way to help us correct our course and fix some things. All right. Uh, I'll tell you what. Okay, what's on top here? This is beautiful. Wow, Page of Pentacles. Lessons you've learned from the past, card of the student. Lessons you've learned in the last cycle are going to help you in this cycle. See to it that you learn them. Review them. Study them like a student. If you, if you fancy yourself a, a college graduate, you, you, you got yourself a big PhD from an Ivy League university, consider yourself back in ninth grade freshman in high school. All right? Go back over the notes. Make Start again. Make sure you learned everything from that. It'll help you. 
those, those lessons will. And approach life with a curiosity. In this new cycle that's coming in, you're going to have a lot more things to get excited about. It's, quite, it's kind of a child here. Ch children get excited quite a bit about things. You know, we kind of lose that as we grow up. That excitement fades. You know, we start thinking, we start thinking about all the bad stuff. You, you can't even get excited about Disneyland as a grown-up because you know you're going to spend $200 for a slice of pizza. You're gonna, it's going to be a $1,500 day just to take two people. You know, you can't get excited about that because you're worried about that. But the kids, they get excited. They're thrilled to go. Of course they are. It's not costing them anything. <laughs> But right here, make sure you keep your excitement about life. Now, this Page of Cups is very interesting. Let's take a look at it. Tell me about the Page of Cups. I can't emphasize to you enough. Whatever's going on around you, and I haven't been out on Twitter in a bit. I've been kind of busy. I don't know what's going on with you guys. But whatever it is, it's there to help you. It's there for a reason. It's there to correct your course so that you're prepared for the new cycle to come in and all this Ten of Pentacles nice stuff. I got a rainbow here, a rainbow here. I had the sun crossing here. I got a rainbow here. It's all fucking rainbows. Right now, it's all I'm working towards it. I got to fix some shit. I got to correct my course. I got to work my way to the Nine of Pentacles. Ten Swords, everything fucking going wrong or everything's not going the way I want it to go or maybe it's going too good. That can be there too. There's two sides to every coin. Either way, it's all leading toward four, four wands and that's it's fine. Stay out of your head. Remember that five of wands that was crossing here. Don't be five wands. Know that four wands is coming. And I'm telling you, it is. I've already done my, cor my course correction is finished coming into this cycle. And I can tell you I feel a thousand times better. I haven't felt this good since I was 25. I swear to God, and that was a while ago. <laughs> that, was a long, that was a while ago. I'll tell you what. It's true. You know, I even added two miles to my morning runs. So now I'm doing five miles four days a week. All right, here we go. T uh, Page of Cups, why is it here? So some of you, you are all in different timelines. I got another rainbow, or in, or in different places in this. But there's always, this always happens when we transition cycles. And this is what the universe wanted to talk to you about. I'm glad it took my thank you reading to do it. I am. Well, I mean, you know, what, hey, why shouldn't you know? You know, hey, I don't want you to feel bad. If somebody here must feel bad because things, you know, tan swords, or why is all this happening? Why is this happening to me? Angel energy is behind it, right? Now, I know. Maybe I'll pull a reading on you offline. All right? I will. I'll tell you about your cockatoo you're missing. Temperance, another rainbow. Rainbow, 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 rainbow. It, it's rainbows everywhere. I would call this a rainbow, kind of, sort of, even. Um, yeah. Everything, your energy is balancing. And as it balances, right, balanced energy is happiness. It's telling me you got happiness coming. I got the card that means happiness here and the happiest card crossing here, the Ten of Pentacles. It's beautiful energy. There's a course correct happening. There's, it's angel guided. There's no devil energy here. There is no devil energy here. Right here, the emperor. This, in this case, in this reading, because I'm pulling on you, okay, this can mean, again, we all know those divine masculines that ran from you are turning around. This can mean that. I urge you to watch a reading I did earlier today on Saturn square the North Node. That energy, this energy was there, okay? Or at least it showed up in the extended. I know that for sure. But either way, what this is saying is you, what you've learned from the past that's going to help you with your Ten Pentacles that's coming in is... How to control things. How to oh, That's one thing the emperor does well. How to control things. How to control. You, you can only control your own emotions. Make sure you know that. Make sure you don't give away your power. The emperor never does that. The balanced energy of, of the emperor anyway. Never does that. Make sure you don't give away your power. Nobody else has the control to tell you how to feel or make you feel anything. If somebody makes you feel bad, brush them off. That's it. Well, bye-bye then. You send me someone better, universe. That's what you could say. Send me someone better. The lessons you learned are going to apply. You're all coming up. Most of you watching me are divine feminines. You're, fe you're strong in your feminine energy. It's coming up. Male or female. This is telling me some balance is coming your way. It's also telling me you got a divine masculine coming your way because it's red with a page of cups. Either someone new or someone's coming in to apologize to you for something they did and running from you. 
Uh, so regardless, this whole block here, our center block, tells us what's going to happen around all this shit. And the bottom line is it all looks pretty good. Uh, it, it's you got 10 pentacles coming your way. The lessons from the past are going to serve you, but keep learning as you go. All right? Tell me about the eight of pentacles here. Tell me about the eight of pentacles. I said I'd pull a reading on you. Calm down. You're going to get a special reading after this. I'm going to have to now. You're going to hold me to it. Uh, eight of pentacles. Why is it here? Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, this Eight of Pentacles ties to this Ten of Swords. It's about the course correction. It's about why is all this shit happening to me? It's because you sabotaged yourself at some point. Okay? I did. My course correction was about health. About eating better. I sabotaged my life for a year on pepperoni pizza and fucking Pop-Tarts. While I did readings out here last year using mega amounts of energy. I'm being honest with you. I'm telling you. Damn near killed me. And that's what the doc said. It said damn near killed you. You need to fix your diet. It happened for a reason. I, you know, for me it started with a flu bug around the beginning of March. I hadn't had a flu bug in years, since probably the year 2000. So I don't get, it's like Superman getting sick. It's like, what the fuck's going on? So I, you know, I went to go get it checked out just to make sure. Turns out it's all diet related. It's all diet related and bad habits. Eating all wrong in my case. I ate plenty of oranges, but you know, it, that's not enough. I've had plenty of vitamin C. Whatever it is for you that's going on around you, I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm not trying to say that. But maybe maybe you didn't, if, if it's health related, maybe you didn't go to a doctor enough. Maybe you didn't go to a dentist enough. Now, it's that's short sightedness. It's, it's a short victory. You, you claim short victories or something, or self sabotage in some way. Maybe you kept driving a car with the check engine light on. It could be something as simple as that. And then you wonder why it broke down. You know, boy, it finally stopped working. Well, I had no idea. You had no idea. You've been driving for six months, a year, with the check engine light on. Well, okay. You know, I'm just giving examples. I don't, I don't know what's going on in your life. I've got a whole bunch of energies here. I'm trying to touch on a few of them. It could be a job that is bad for you. It's hurting you. That you should have left a long time ago. But you stay because, you know, whatever. Well, now, in these current energies, especially Saturn squaring the north node which I just pulled a fucking all signs reading on in that energy let me tell them this in that energy it's forcing you to make decisions it affects you as much as it affects your runner on the other side you'll be enforced to make decisions all right the bird can feel this energy he's going through his own transitions all right he is he needs to he needs to lay off the the birdie treats what's What's on top here? Look at that. The Six of Cups. It all has to do with stuff from the past that you've been doing wrong and you know you should have stopped a long time ago. Okay? It is. It could be anything. Again, it could be the check engine light. It could be the job. It could be a health issue. It could be something that you, you know, there was something you sabotaged yourself in a way. All right? Nobody blaming you. It's just it's time to course correct in the new energy. The new core energy is a sunny day. The sun came out for you over the Ten of Pentacles. So the new core energy is the sunny day. The sun lights things up in this new core energy because the last core was a cloudy day. Clouds can, can obscure things, can't they? They can hide all kinds of shit. Well, it's all coming out into the sunlight now. So you got to fix it. You got to do some shit. Yeah, you got to change. I got to eat broccoli. Okay? I'm eating it. I like it. It's actually pretty good. Steam it. It's all right. It's not bad. I'm fine. Okay? Whatever it is for you, even if it's just you sitting there going, yeah, everything seems to be kind of this, or I feel this. You feel that way, even if it's just the way you feel. You, Whether it's good or bad, look at why you feel it and learn from why so that you understand. If it's good, then you'll know how to replicate it in the future if you ever feel bad. If it's bad, Try to figure out why you feel bad. Look at it. Stare at it. Acknowledge it. And fix it. Whatever the issue is, as a blanket whole, as a blanket whole statement, we're all going through an energy transition right now. And it's course correcting us. We're on an autocorrect. Okay? The universe is like, you need to be on this road, and you've been on this road. 
And unfortunately, you already been going down this wrong road, and now there's a big field median and a swamp in between, and the only way to get there is to drive through the swamp and get you up on the main road. So, some, for, so for some of you, some shit may be going wrong. You might not be feeling well, you might not be thinking well, your car might not be running right, you're realizing your job is shit, you should have left it a long time ago. Whatever the case is, take some chances, go with the flow. My advice is always let energy flow. Go with the current of the river. There's a reason energy readers like me call it the river, all right? Because it has a current. And when you fight against that current, you get into trouble, all right? If, all of you are part of a soulmate cycle. And I've told you that you're all old souls. I wrote a whole article about it in my blog. And because of that, you all have a destiny, which means shit like this when we transition into new energy cycles really affects you. Those course corrects will really affect you because you have a destiny. And the universe is damn sure trying to make sure you get there. All right? So it is what it is. I apparently wasn't going to get there on pepperoni pizza and pop tarts. All right, I'd have dropped dead on a video sometime this year. Maybe, <laughs> who knows? I don't know. But either way, I'm glad I corrected. Be I, and, I, and quite frankly, I corrected. Speaking for myself, using myself as an example here, it's just my example. It doesn't have to be yours. Yours is going to be something different. I corrected because I know to f always go with the flow. Go with where the current is taking you. you know, roll with the punches, if you will. It'll always take you to a good place. This, this short-sightedness can't, can't happen on, in, in bright, sunny weather. It, the, the sun lights up too many things, and we're moving into a cycle where it's a bright, sunny day. All right, That's your reading. I appreciate anyone who's ever given me a nickel for anything I do here, be it a donation or the extended readings. I do these readings every month. They're always very special because they're, they're sort of pinpointed. I try to do something different with these and give you some information. I'm glad the universe brought this out. Because I know about this. I've even tweeted about it to a couple of you on Twitter. And it's right here. This is the energy that's here. So pay attention to what the universe is trying to tell you. Okay? It's trying to tell you something. If, you, if you're one of the people watching you're sitting out there, well, nothing's happening for me. Everything's the same. I'm telling you the universe is trying to tell you something. Find it. Pay attention. You're probably just not paying attention. If there's something that keeps repeating, a number, a theme on television, that's very common. Especially if you're a big TV watcher. Watch for themes on the shows. Why the fuck this show keep talking about blah, blah, blah? You know, whatever it is. Whatever blah, blah, blah is to you. You know, five, five different shows on three different networks all talking about the same thing. Someone's trying to tell you something. Especially if the odds of those shows all having that kind of theme are pretty astronomical. Okay? So, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. You know, with, with this reading, if I help one person today, I really did do my job, karmically speaking. Uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. And again, thank you for anybody who helps support the channel. Give me a nickel for anything I do here. I really appreciate it. I truly do. All right? Good luck, you guys. Oh, now you're quiet. He's just waiting for his reading. That's what he's doing. He's just waiting for his reading now. God damn.